June 13th looked like a day before the day type set up in the North Plains of the Dakotas. I spent all day sitting in Aberdeen, South Dakota, waiting for my target area to light up. Meanwhile, a supercell had gone up in Central North Dakota. I thought the storm was in a poor environment, but it went tornado worn and persisted for hours tracking across half the state. I finally gave up on my South Dakota target and went after the storm. You can see it here in the distance as I'm entering North Dakota trying to catch up with it. There's some convection building on the flanking line behind the storm. starting to appear as I approach the storm from the southwest. The supercell is now crossing into western Minnesota and was still tornado warning. In Minnesota now I had a better view of the storm's base. The storm had been a high precipitation supercell for most of its life as you can see the rear flanking core of the storm here. I'd have to get in front of the storm and north in order to get into the inflow notch where I'd have a better view of any potential tornadoes. There's a neat striation here in the updraft tower that's glowing blue. As I get ahead of the storm here, you can look back at the portion of the base that would probably drop a tornado if it were going to produce one. I actually intercepted a couple of tornadoes the next day in central Minnesota, which was supposed to be the main chase day. I was core punching the storm at the time, so my video from the camera dome didn't turn out very well because of the rain, but I did manage to snag a few stills that you can see in the last chapter on this disc. This was a photogenic HP supercell, but ultimately it didn't produce any tornadoes. I followed it until dark, but the structure started to deteriorate after this time-lapse sequence here of the rear flanking core approaching. 